Hi, welcome to a quick walk round for our Vauxhall Adam. Uh, this is the Glam model, special edition, so there's a few bits and bobs on here to point out to you. Um, I'll find out the correct name for the paint colour and all that sort of stuff and add it to the description in the advert if that's of interest to you. But I'll just go around and give you my sort of uh, basic explanation of everything and then there'll be more detail in the advert. So it's a metallic, very deep, dark, purpley red. Uh, gunmetal grey alloys. There's a couple of little cabin marks on these but nothing too severe. Uh, Pirelli P7 tyres all round. They're a 17 inch wheel. Bodywork has a, I mean there's a couple of very, there's a, like a tiny little minor dent there. We have got the correct touch up for this because we've had one of these before. So we'll, we'll make these look a little bit prettier. And another very, I mean I can't even make that out of the cap. There it is. Tiny little dent there. But overall really clean and tidy but like I say we do have the correct color touch up so I will make those look a little bit nicer uh, white roof and as you saw at the front mirror caps it has got the glass roof I'll show you that from inside it's a, it's a static one it's not mechanically operated or anything it's just a solid glass roof uh, as you can see on the these look like they're flickering that's because it's got the LED rear lights they're not flickering in real life it's just because my camera has a different refresh rate to the lights. Uh, this catches people out sometimes. You push in the bottom of the Vauxhall bags, Vauxhall badge, to open up the boot. Uh, parcel shelf is present. The boot is obviously not enormous. It's quite deep, goes down well below the level of here, so it's not completely useless, but obviously you can't get loads and loads of stuff in there. Underneath there is your emergency tire inflation kit. Uh, doesn't have a spare wheel, it is just this kit, okay. Towing eyes there as well. The locking wheel nut is in the glove box. I'll show you that when we get there. The rear wheels are perfect, obviously. It's just the front wheels that have got a couple of tiny curbing marks. The chrome door handles there. Then you have the white accents through the grille as well. Uh, again, you see more flicker in there because it's got the LED daytime running lights just at, at the top of the headlight there. The headlight itself is a traditional halogen bulb. This is a LED up here. Okay, we'll have a look inside now. I'll start off in the back and then I'll show you what it's like in the front. Uh, three door car obviously, so I have to get in through here. So it's like a deep dark red with a checker pattern through the middle cloth interior. Uh, cup holders and big speaker here. You've got some airbags up ahead height there. It is only um, four-seater, there is no middle seat, there's no configuration for a belt there. Uh, both the rear seats, as you can clearly see, have isofix points. And you've got cup holders there, times three, that are accessible from the front and the rear. I will take you around the other side, I know it's going to be identical, but just so you've seen everything. There you are. Seats all in really nice condition. No big rips or tears or any indents from having car seats in it, anything like that. So, really nice condition. Uh, while we're around here, I'll show you the passenger seat as well. Again, absolutely immaculate. Uh, electric windows in the front, obviously no form of windows in the back. You know, no form of electric windows anyway, obviously it's got glass. But nothing that you can function. Uh, in here is the manual for the infotainment system there. There isn't one for the car so I will get on eBay and order one of those in a second because I know people do like to have the, the owner's manuals. Um, it's got this sort of, I don't know what you'd call that, is it a geometric pattern? Anyway it's a pattern dash that goes all the way throughout. Airbags built in here obviously and then you've got like a black gloss piano finish for the rest of the dash trim. 
in the glove box is the locking wheel nut bolts. That's not a storage, that's the fuse box there. So not much else to see in there. Got the chrome voxel kick plates. We'll pop around to the driver's side now and I'll show you the controls there. Okay, uh, as I mentioned before, obviously electric windows in the front. You've got electric mirrors up there. Then that's the, your lighting controls there. Uh, came in twist with one key. It's the colour coded to the car remote locking key that you would have got from Vauxhall from new. There's your windscreen wiper controls. There's your indicators and the stalk on the end and this little twisty operate the onboard computer that you can see there as well. Gives you miles to gallon and miles to empty and all that sort of stuff. Again this is LED so it looks like it's flickering on the video, it's not, it's completely solid to my eye. Um, there's the miles, I'll try and zoom you in a bit there. Might even stabilise if it's a bit closer. There we are, sort of. 50,025 as it sits here today, so for a nine year old car that's very low. Uh, Leather stitched multifunction steering wheel, it's got an airbag in it of course. Um, cruise control up here which is nice, not often seen on a small car like this. Uh, there's the buttons for your phone should you pair it up, it does have that feature because it's got the infotainment. And then this is controlling your audio. Show you a bit more of that dashboard pattern, it's really nice actually. Uh, right, heat events and hazard lights obviously. Uh, city mode over here, if you've got that active your steering becomes incredibly light if you're trying to get into a tight space. Lock and unlock buttons. Right, here's the infotainment system. Um, we've had a few of these Adams. Most of them don't have this. This is a factory extra. It's usually got just a traditional radio. Um, doesn't have sat-nav, but it's much more intuitive for uh, audio side of things. So you've got AM, FM and DAB digital radio. If I go back out to the home screen gallery is where you can import your own media. I don't know if it's actually video you can use, it sort of implies that, doesn't it, with that little film reel, but I don't, I don't know. But you can basically pair your phone and then share media that's on your phone with this screen. Uh, that is where you would pair your phone. And then this is where you can install other apps. I assume you have to connect to Wi-Fi to do that. But there is a whole instruction manual in there for it, so you better figure that out. Uh, Aircon controls down here, they're quite neat. It's sort of lit from behind and moves around as you move around. Your auxiliary inputs are there. So traditional auxiliary sort of headphone jack there, USB, and then there's your 12 volt point there. Cubby hole just there, five speed manual gearbox, traditional handbrake, not an electronic one. Uh, here's your glass roof. Uh, so it's just static in place, not mechanical, you just have a manual blind that clips back and forth. Uh, you've got your illuminated vanity mirrors there. Rear view mirror is just a traditional normal one, it's not auto dimming or anything like that as far as I can see. And then you've just got your interior lighting controls just beyond that. Um, yeah, really nice little car. Um, I've gone through everything that I can see. If there's something I've missed, please just give me a call and I'll pop out and check for you straight away. I will include as many photos as I can of the inside, the outside, and any paperwork we've got with the car. So if you're having this one delivered, you should have a really good idea of what to expect. If you're local to us and you obviously want to come down and see the car in person, give it a drive and all that sort of stuff, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, all I ask is that you phone us first to make an appointment to view, just so we can make sure someone's here to see you. Okay, thank you very much for watching.